Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve a few practice sums based on forming expressions. Make as many expressions with numbers, no variables, as you can from three numbers 5, 7, 8. Every number should be used not more than once. Use only addition, subtraction and multiplication. So we are not to use division. So simple. First, we'll only use addition. So it will be 5 plus 7 plus 8 or 7 plus 5 plus 8 or 8 plus 5 plus 7 or 5 plus 8 plus 7. I can put brackets to indicate which one I have to do first. Let's say so these are expressions using addition. Similar way I can write is 8 multiplied by 5 plus 7 or 7 multiplied by 5 plus 8 or 5 multiplied by 7 plus 8. So this is also one more type of expressions or we can use subtraction. Subtraction can be 8 multiplied by 5 minus 7. So I use multiplication and subtraction or 8 minus 5 minus 7. So we can form many such examples. Okay. So we'll stop here. You can try to find out many more. Which out of the following are expressions with numbers only? Y plus 3. Y is a variable. So this is not what we are looking for. 7 into 20 minus 8z. Again, z is a letter used, which means it's a variable, so we are not interested in this. 5 in bracket 21 minus 7, bracket complete, plus 7 into 2. Yes, that is expression with numbers only. 5, obviously, this is with number only. 3x, here we see x, which is a variable. 5 minus 5n n n is a variable 7 into 20 in so in bracket 7 into 20 minus another bracket 5 into 10 minus 45 plus p again there is a variable p here so this is not expression with numbers only so we have only two expressions here with numbers only let's do the next one identify the operations addition subtraction division multiplication in forming the following expressions and tell how the expressions have been formed. So here in A, the first expression is 2y plus 17. So which are the operations we have used? We have used addition. Because it is plus here. So addition is there. We can easily see addition here. And between 2 and y, there is a multiplication sign. We know that we don't write the multiplication sign when we have a num a number and a variable together. So here there is one more operation which is multiplication. So what we have done is we have first multiplied a number with 2 2 multiplied by a number that is variable and then added 17 into that and then added 17 into that. That is our first one. In the second one, we have done is this 2y minus 17. So again, we have multiplied 2 with a number variable. And then from that, we have subtracted 17. So what, which operations we have used? We have used multiplication and subtraction. Let's see the next one. In B, we have 7m. 7m means it is 7 multiplied by m. So only operation which is used is multiplication. Then we have minus 7m plus 3. So here what we have done is we have multiplied minus 7 with m and then added the 3. 
So what we have used is we have used multiplication as well as addition. Here minus 7m minus 3. So he, what we have done is minus 7 multiplied by m. And from this we have subtracted 3. So here again we have multiplication and subtraction. Please understand that when we have terms like 7m where we don't see multiplication but there is a multiplication sign because with an alphabet and later coming together and they are bound by multiplication we do not show the multiplication sign. Give expressions for the following cases. 7 added to p. So what we are saying 7 is added plus 7. To, we, to which number? To p. p plus 7. 7 subtracted from p. Okay. Subtracted minus 7. From what? From p. From comes before subtraction sign. p multiplied by 7. So 7 into p. But we know that we do not write this multiplication sign. So we are going to write this as 7p. p divided by 7. p divided by 7. I can put it this way or I can write it as p divided by 7. 7 subtracting from minus m. 7 subtracted minus 7. Subtracted from. From what? From minus m. Minus p multiplied by 5. So minus p into 5. When we have such thing, what we do is first we write the number, then we write the letter. But there is a minus sign, so we'll keep that minus sign here. Minus 5p. Minus p divided by 5. Minus p divided by 5. And we have seen earlier what we can do is minus p divided by 5. P multiplied by minus 5. P into minus 5. Number is written first and then later and no multiplication sign. So minus 5p. Let's do the next one. Give expressions in the following cases. 5 times y to which 3 is added. 5 times means multiplication. 5 times multiplication we don't show the signs of 5y. To which 3 is added. So 3 is added to that. So it is 5y plus 3. 5 times y from which 3 is subtracted. 5 times y and from this 3 is subtracted. y multiplied by minus 8 and then 5 added to the result. So first y is multiplied by minus 8. So it will be minus 8y. And then 5 added to the result. y multiplied by 5 and the result is subtracted from 16. So y multiplied by 5 gets 5y. And this result is subtracted from, from whatever number that comes first. So it is 16 minus 5y. Okay, please, no result is subtracted from 16. 16 has to come first, then from that we have to subtract the result which is 5y y is multiplied by minus 5 and the result is added to 16. So, result is added to 16. So, 16 plus y is multiplied by minus 5. So, it is minus 5y. y is multiplied by minus 5y. We get this and this is added to 16. Now, this plus minus is going to become minus. So, it is going to become 16 minus 5y. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.